John Jay and Rich. Our phone number, 877-937-1047. You can call and jump on the air with us right now. I saw Peyton. Peyton said she had a doctor's appointment for her double chin, right? Double chin, right? And remember we talked about it like a while ago? So I popped in and I was like, and I normally don't do this. I wait till on the radio, but I was like, what are you going to get liposuction in your double chin? Like, when I look at Peyton's face, I don't see a double chin. No. Nearly and I, so I was like, going to have a little intervention about you don't need that. And then she <laughs> says, what do you say, Peyton? Well, I said, no, I'm not getting liposuction, even though if I could, I probably would. <laughs> um, I actually have a doctor's appointment. I have to get blood drawn and an ultrasound on whatever this weird double lump chin is. So I don't know. I think it's turning into something a little bit more serious than what I was expecting. So wow. I don't know what it is. I've been told that it's a lymph node, um, but I also noticed something really weird, like kind of in the back of my neck, like right underneath where my skull hits that connects into my neck. I have like a really big knot, like right there. And it's like, I felt really weird last night. Like I told Kadeem, I was like, I don't feel right. Like I need you to come to bed with me. Like I don't feel good. Wow. And yeah, so I don't exactly know what's going on. But you're, you're sure you're not in your head a little bit? You're not. It's in her head. I it's mean, I mean, like no, it's, but you're not like ex- extending the symptoms because you're a little paranoid. No, maybe? it's a pretty gnarly knot. It's okay. pretty, yeah. So you so, went to the doctor. You already went to the doctor, well, and they were like, "You need to get ultrasound," or you okay. going by somebody else's opinion. Well, my one of my best friends is a PA. She's a surgical PA. So I sent her a video. And I was like, dude, what is wrong with me? Like, is this something seriously that I need to get checked out just to get an idea? And she was like, yeah, you need to schedule an appointment and go get blood drawn. I mean, I would trust her. She's a surgical PA. So she didn't touch it, see it, look at it? No, she didn't touch it, see it, or look at it. But I'll show you guys the video that I sent her. But I literally, like, go up. I'm pressing around. I'm feeling it. Like, she can see as if she was doing it. Mm. But it's a really weird thing. So I don't know. I have an appointment in a couple of weeks. Kyle went to med school. Yeah. (laughs) You want to take a look at it? (laughs) I was pretty med for uh, two semesters so yeah I, uh, you might have an don't, idea don't trust your <laughs> surgical pa friend no here's my debate surgical pa friend through a video text right she didn't see it versus two semesters of pre-med <laughs> in person doing an exam she got solid like, i feel like that you got that's equivalent to a professional second opinion i think i'd still take the pa <laughs> but that's kind of like unnerving i'm sorry i'm like now i'm gonna be worried about you i, I think i'll be i'll be chill i'm good you know what what if you're not, what if i'm you in die? good health i Stop, hope don't i don't, you? I hope <laughs> I don't I know, and what is it a what year a, from like, now? What a way to go out! Like that's such Leo energy. Like just because of a lump, <laughs> be the center of double chin. What died. killed her? Double <laughs> chin. <laughs> I don't know, Peyton. Bob, John Jay will tell you. Back in the day, I had a thing on my yeah. neck. It was a lymph node, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look, at he's got a huge scar on the right. Scar. Like, really? Yeah, I stared at it. Was a, uh, they they did the little biopsy, and they're like, "Well, we can't tell if it's cancerous or not, but it's got to come out." Oh wow! So they did surgery. Well, we'll see. Back in the day, didn't even miss a day. No, I got on a Friday. It was back work on the Monday. That is true. <laughs> That's impressive, Rich. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I couldn't feel a Kyle, thing or talk. How about your boy? Uh, he broke his arm over the weekend, and cast surgery, no cast splint. Yeah, so we had gone to the emergency room, and they told us we needed to follow up with an orthopedic doctor. And it's funny because Addie broke her arm four years ago, almost almost the same weekend. And so we went and saw the same orthopedic doctor, and he said that it's probably going to be a, like a 12-week recovery process, but he won't need surgery. He okay. has this huge cast on him, and because we actually came in quicker than than normal... They had to. They fully casted him, and then they cut the cast in three different areas because there's still a risk of swelling. Mm-hmm. And I guess the doctor was talking about this patient that had the cast on, and it was too tight. And the patient actually lost their leg and came to see him, and he had to basically almost like fillet into this this person's leg to stop the swelling. And so we were like, "Oh, okay," because first we thought that was weird. Like you put this whole cast on, and then you basically almost cut it off, but it. Like, the arm needs some breathing room right now. So right. we have to go back uh, later this week, and then they'll rewrap the cast, and then he'll have that on for five weeks. Then he gets this, um, like, a cast that you can take on and off. Yeah, yeah. Which How is far- much better because, right. I, like, this poor kid, like, school starts soon, and it's on his right arm, so he's going to have to be trying to write in class with his left hand. Oh, That's going to be yeah. frustrating. Okay. Then I think about recess. It's hot as balls outside. Right. He's got this sling, a full cast. He's not going to be able to play with his friends. I'm just like, oh, this poor kid, this is the beginning of his school year. is really going to stink. And then he's going to have to one-arm it with the backpack. 
<laughs> and those are always heavy. <laughs> yeah, but maybe it'll get extra attention. Everyone's going to be looking at him. Hey, man, what happened? And right. be like, you can't sign your cast. The last thing Easton wants <laughs> is attention. to be the center of attention. <laughs> that's like his nightmare. So that's another thing that I'm like, oh, this poor kid. I just feel bad for him. But he's had such a good attitude, and he's been so... Like, he's really impressed me. It's almost like I'm looking at him and I'm like, you're seven and you're just like my baby, but you're being so mature about this. Like, what? So he's been asking me to go back to Andretti's. Uh-huh. And so yesterday after he gets his cast, I just look at him and it looks so sad. He just looks sad. And I'm like, hey, you want to go to Andretti's again? <laughs> so how does he play? He does everything with his left hand? <laughs> well, it's funny because one of his favorite things to do there is ski ball and he's right handed. So he was trying to do it and the balls were going all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, gotta work on it a little. You'll get there. The more practice with your left hand. What color is his cast? There. He picked light blue. Ooh, yeah, sweet. it looks pretty cool. cool. Looks Maybe pretty he'll cool. turn ambidextrous too, because when he starts writing with his left hand, a lot of kids at that age when they break an arm. I, that's what my mom said too. Yeah. She's like, maybe he'll be really good with both. I'm like, you know what? I think that's great if he does. He's like, maybe I'll be left handed. <laughs> like maybe, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're like, praying for you. And you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you and thank you. Yes, and Peyton, too. Kyle Unfug with three things we need to know. It's just business as usual for former President Donald Trump. After an assassination attempt over the weekend, he was at the Republican National Convention last night, officially picked Senator J.D. Vance as his vice presidential running mate. If elected in November, Vance, who's just 39 years old, would be one of the youngest vice presidents in history. Also yesterday, the home run derby went down. We were watching it. Uh, it We were Blue 32 eating dinner, and the sound was off. But I saw this girl singing the national anthem, and they kind of showed a couple of baseball players' faces. And, you know, I, I didn't really think much of it. Then I hop online, and this girl who is a country artist, her name's Ingrid Andres. She's the one who sang the national anthem. It was just getting drug online. Like, worst national anthem ever. Here's a little bit of it. Just gave me flashbacks. I think it was a 2018 NBA All Star Game. Fergie. Yeah. That a flag was still there. Oh, say, <laughs> I think these other girls worse. Yeah. I don't know if you can be <laughs> Fergie. Wait, I mean, when she bad. goes, Ben, yeah, 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 wait. <laughs> Fergie All still wins for me. I was going to say, this woman, she's nominated for four Grammys. To me, the, what we saw last night, what you're hearing right now, is the beginning of the fall of country music. <laughs> oh Hilarious. Yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty terrible. I mean, Have you ever heard Roseanne Barr's national anthem? Yeah, that, that's up there, too, I think, the, with, with the worst national anthems ever. I mean, they're all better than I could do. So it's like I bet you whatever. not. No. I've heard you sing before when you really sing. The you national sing. anthem's a really hard mm-hmm. song to sing. So I feel like like if she's nominated for that many Grammys, it was probably something like something was off in her You can hear her struggling. Ears. Or something like that. To find a place. She's going back and forth a lot, like trying to find it. Give her a break. We need more (laughs) kindness right now. Uh, If you are planning some summer travel and you're like me, and I believe, John Jay, you're like this too. I just, it takes a long time for me to unpack. The suitcase sits there for Uh a really long time. You come back from vacation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like the worst. Peyton, what do you do? Do you unpack right away or are you like... One of those people. I know, Rich, you are. It you takes I am. me a couple days. My wife is not. We still. I've have. left the suitcase in the bottom of the staircase for almost a year. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I left shoes in my sink. I'm like, you time. don't need those things in there? Okay. So this actually made me feel so much better about that habit. So there is a doctor who said there's a very disgusting reason that you should actually never unpack your suitcase right when you get home. Really? So this doctor says... That if you open up your suitcase right away, it could actually lead to an infestation of bed bugs, which can lay eggs in your house, your clothes, belongings, legs. You don't know what gets trapped in your suitcase Ugh. on your trip. <laughs> they say if you just leave it in there for a little while, all of them kind of die after two weeks. <laughs> so just wait two weeks and you're good to go. Then my wife yells at me for not unpacking the book.
Wait for the bed bugs to die. I'm trying to let them die. Well, think about that, though. If that really happened. I know. Especially, I was staying at that free in Anaheim. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. No. We When I was in college, we stayed at a hotel, and it was infested with bed bugs, Ugh. and we had to stay there. So, we all slept in, like, all of our workout clothes, shoes on, hoods over. It was awful. And we had to go back to school, and we had to keep all of our stuff under the bus for, like, a week. And then when we got them back, we had to keep them outside of our houses for, like, another week and a half. You, you knew the... They, you, already, you knew the bed bugs were in the hotel and they still made you sleep there? Yes. Can you imagine sleeping That's knowing insane. the bed is in front of the bed bugs? We barely I made a sleep outside. the next morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was not fun. The boys got to go to a different hotel, but we did it. Oh, oh, oh that's bugs. so lame. I know. It's, it's what happens when you play NAI. It wasn't that D1 love, you know? <laughs> uh, it's a little different. You <laughs> poor thing. So two weeks, just let it sit. Don't feel guilty about it. You're doing the right thing, and that's three things you need to know. The vibe for horoscopes today. I'm going to be telling you how your day is going to go based on your zodiac sign, and if it's your birthday today, you are a cancer, and you share one with Will Ferrell. So pretty funny if it's your birthday today. Megan, good morning. What's your sign? Aries. Okay, Aries, today you guys are on fire, but I'm being so serious. Like, you need to check your stove before leaving the house. Expect a burst of energy today and channel it into something productive. Maybe it's time to reorganize that sock drawer you've been looking at every day. Oh, I like that because my room is a disaster right now. You <laughs> want it, girl? The basket. Yeah. Oh, that, great. That's a good one. My wife's an Aries, and, you know, our pipes had to get all redone, and she, they're done. And now she's just organizing everything the last couple days. Perfect. Perfect varies. David, what's your sign? Hey, David? Yeah. Hey, Taurus, what's up? Hey. Hey. Now he's ready. Yes, Taurus. Oh, sorry, man. I just woke up. I was like, ooh, starting to get ready. Ooh, good morning. Good morning. All right, Taurus, though. Today is a day for indulgence. You need to treat yourself to that extra large coffee and maybe even a second breakfast if you feel like it. Just remember, moderation is key today. All right, well, I got 17 chickens. I got plenty of eggs. I'll go make a big one. All right. <laughs> All right, David. Thanks for listening. <laughs> All right, take care. Well, a lot of chickens. A lot of chickens. <laughs> lot of chickens. <laughs> Just let that sit there for a little bit. How about Kyle Unfug? Yeah, Kyle, today, balance is your key word. We know that. Juggling work, family, and a social life probably seems like a circus act, but you've got this. Just don't try any literal juggling today because it will not end well. You're going to break everything. <laughs> I'm not the greatest juggler on any other day either, so I will steer clear of that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> How about for Rich Bear, the Pisces? Pisces, Rich, your creativity is off the charts today. Dive into a new art project or write a poem or a song or whatever. Just be careful not to daydream too much because you're going to forget where you put your keys. They're in your <laughs> bag, by the way. Yes, they are. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, how about for you, the Leo? Leo's today, our roar is louder than ever. So make sure that we're taking charge and leading the way, whether that's at work or deciding what's for dinner. But just remember, a little humility does go a long way, even for the king or the queen of the jungle. Do you guys um, know that they're making a Mufasa movie? I did see that. Did you see the preview for yeah. it already? I saw yeah. it yesterday. I was like, whoa, his whole story. Yeah, they showed it in front of Minions. But it's like the live thing like they did with Beyonce. I didn't like that one. Oh, I love that I wanted that a cartoon. One. I wanted like The Ridge. <laughs> it, it's a little confusing because it looks a little CGI and it looks a little like the new Planet of the Apes movie. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like like when it's real like that, like you know, like they show him jumping on the hippos, mm -hmm. bouncing across the hippos. I'm like that wouldn't happen. <laughs> but if it's a cartoon, I'm like, oh yeah, it's fun. I don't know. What do you got for Virgo? Well, Virgos, your perfectionist streak is showing today. Try not to or try to let go of the little things, like that one strand of hair that keeps falling in your face this morning, John Jay. Focus on the mm. big picture and enjoy the ride. I can't. <laughs> Everything I is about Don't the little things. I Never know. big picture. <laughs> Everything. Today I cannot I handle big picture. <laughs> big picture, not a problem. Little things bother me like nuts. <laughs> All right, if we missed your sign, go to johnjanerich.com. John Jane Rich, it's Amazon Prime Day today. Yeah. Is there anything like, I told my wife yesterday, it's Amazon Prime Day tomorrow. She's like, do you need anything? It's like, no, I don't think so. But is there anything? Is everything on sale on Amazon Prime? I think there's a lot of things on Amazon Prime, but I I don't know about you guys. I just feel like this Amazon Prime Day doesn't have as much hype around it because it's like everything's so expensive. I don't feel like the deals are that great anyway. That's a good right. point. That's true. Accor it's time for Stacks and Hacks where I go over my stacks of information, which is life hacks. Um, according to a survey, 41% of people believe every message needs to include an emoji to be complete. Words are important too. Just using an emoji they say, though, is a conversational killer, is what they say. So today is Artificial Intelligence Appreciation Day, believe it or not. And there's this video going viral now of a guy that took Snoop Dogg's gin and juice 
and had Kermit the Frog sing it. It is crazy good. My mind on my money, my money on my mind. Sipping on gin and juice. <laughs> With so much drama in the LBC, <laughs> it's hard being Snoop F R O G G. Frog. <laughs> Raise off these nuts, cause you get none of these. <laughs> I roll through the frog pond, feel the breeze. That's pretty damn funny, isn't it? That gets to be in my head all day. <laughs> uh, also, a nutritional influencer. This blows my mind. But this nutritional influencer says um, on social media, he says that coconut water is really good for you and that you should take actual coconuts and crack them on the plane whenever you're traveling and drink the coconuts on the plane, right? And everyone's like, well, does TSA let you do that? Yes, they do. They do bring coconuts on the airplane. So I don't like to drink water in airports. Can't get water through security. But you can bring coconut water on the airplane in a coconut. Coconut water is a great source of magnesium, manganese, all kinds of good stuff. So I got about 10, 10 coconuts in there that I'm going to have to drink on this plane. I've tried to crack a coconut before. Like, if you're on the plane, don't you need, like, a knife or something yeah, to pop that thing over? Bring a machete. I don't think you're... Like, how, I want to know more. How did you do that? Also, two former Arby's employees are facing charges because they got caught stealing thousands of dollars worth of roast beef from the restaurant. They snuck it out of the restaurant by hiding it in trash cans and trash bags. Ew. Isn't that gross? Yeah. So gross. They stole the beef. Uh, 72% of people say that no matter what, a summer meal, no summer meal is complete without ice cream for dessert. Mm. Which is probably why it's so hard to keep that summer body. There's a debate on the internet. Is it okay for someone who's rich to lie on a first date about money? as is to test to see if they're gold diggers. Thoughts, anyone? I don't know why you would want to talk about money on a first date. Yeah. But if you do? Um, I think it depends how rich you are, but I'll say that's okay to lie on the first date. According to dog owners, the most behaved dog breed in the world is the Labrador Retriever. The worst behaved dog breed is the Siberian Husky. Now, you remember that girl, the Cash Me Outside girl? Yeah. She was in Dr. Phil? You yeah. see how much money she made? Mm. Off yeah. of OnlyFans? Yeah. She's made $57 million on OnlyFans since 2021. That is Whoa. bonkers. Cash me outside. How about that? I said, technically, it was like $73 million, but then they take their cut, and then she makes Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, she had the receipts, right? Uh-huh. So it's legit. Like if, she, if she walked in here, I wouldn't know what she looks like. I mean, I remember her from the Dr. Phil show, and oh she was like gosh. 13 or something when she said that. That is nuts. I was like a fan of her music for a little bit. She, she has a song too. called Gucci like, Flip Flops. Bad Barbie. And it's so good. Yeah. Oh, she's Bad Barbie. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Rich, we got for Life Hacks. All right. This hack will actually save your teeth, and all you have to do is chew. And what is the best thing to chew to help your teeth? It's not gum. We've heard gum. It's cashews. Not the nut, the nut that is the cashew, because it can kill the bacteria in your mouth that causes tooth decay. And they even say that chewing cashews, just a couple every day, will even... Stop acne from forming in your skin. I don't know how that works, but I guess they're really good for you. So choose some cashews and have great skin and good teeth. That life hack and many more can be found at johnjandrich.com. Uh, this little boy and his dog is a Labrador Retriever. They were communicating with each other. It's a little puppy. I mean, sorry, it's a little boy. And the do- Labrador is probably a couple years old. But listen to this. This is them. I love a kid's laugh, you know? <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, Peyton, if you're in the bathroom and someone knocks on the door, what do you say? Hello. Yeah, someone asked, someone asked the internet, when someone knocks on the bathroom door and you're using it, what do you say? There's like all these responses. Aren't you supposed to say, it's occupied? Isn't that? Oh, that's that's number two. Someone's in here. Or someone's in here, yeah. Or number two is a good answer. Someone's in here is the number one answer. Yeah. Number one answer. But then I guess a bunch of people got all creative. And like, you knock on the door, and I want to steal some of these next time. Like, come back with a warrant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with a client. 
Yeah, someone knocks on the door. Just finishing up the paperwork. <laughs> or someone knocks on the door. What's the password? Or someone said they don't say anything, but they just start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. I panic. Someone's in here. It's not like, oh, someone's in Look at someone's in here. I mean, you're pretty vulnerable at that point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Terrible, terrible. Rich, what's the latest with you and your wife, man? You getting to know her yet? Yeah, she's uh, she's interesting. I've like she's she's very smart, and I've 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 held, had to deal with that because you know I work with you guys. No, I, and my son Christopher is on that. They're both on that serious, like that genius level where the thoughts are quick. But I'm trying to figure out how she conducts her life because it doesn't make any sense for us practical people. Mm. So, like, I have a to-do list. In fact, it's right here that I keep every day where I write stuff down. And she's a very busy person. She's got, you know, she owns a business and she runs three other businesses. So she's very busy. But the idea of making a to-do list is very strange. She she writes things down and has, like, letters that signify what she has to do. But she doesn't just write down, like, I need to go to the store It'll be like a letter, like E, which will mean like, I don't know, like uh, electrolytes at the store. And that's how she remembers stuff. And then she tries to make a word out of it going straight down. I saw you post that video <laughs> of her to-do list. And yeah. it's just all letters. It's all letters. And then I'm like, it spells fembots. And she's like, well, that's just a happy accident. Oh, that's all a, those, okay. <laughs> all those letters mean what? something. But then she loses the list. So she doesn't know where her list <laughs> is because she's so like her brain's moving so fast. <laughs> I find the lists everywhere, and they're usually like on on like my nightstand, you know, by my side of the bed, or on the sink that I use. I'm like, did you need this? Oh yeah, I needed that. But I don't know if she actually remembers what the letters are when she goes to do the list. I'm like, you could just write down what you need to do and not have the puzzle to go through with it. It's very bizarre. And then she goes on these. But it works for her. It works. Uh, well, I think some of it works for her. I don't know. I don't know at the end of the day if she gets check marks near everything because I think the list disappears somewhere. <laughs> like, uh, there's a certain madness to some people that it yeah. works for them. Like stuff yeah. works for me that my I, wife, my wife can't figure it. I've seen out. you do it too. Like you put, like for John Jay, I've seen you. Like if we have an appointment together at eleven o'clock, you won't stick appointment at eleven o'clock in your calendar. You do different times. That's Which, funny. You say, that's exactly the conversation my wife and I had. It makes the other day. no <laughs> sense. So, so we had this meeting last Thursday, all of us, right? And during the meeting. Apparently, I had another meeting at the same time that I didn't put in my calendar. I think the new thing now is people just put stuff in your calendar. Yes, and don't uh, ask and, and don't you tell about you. it. It drives yeah. me nuts. Right. So, but, so it's like, and, and there's my wife's giving me this lecture. Well, if you can't be at that appointment, then you need to decline and say you can't be there. And then it's on them. I said, actually, it's on them. They should check to make sure I accepted it because I didn't even know about it. And it's in my calendar. So anyway, she goes, let me see your calendar. So she takes my phone. She goes to my calendar. She's like, okay, look. You got this appointment Friday at 4. And I go, oh, no, she goes, you got this appointment. It's Thursday at 11. And she goes, but that appointment for you is Friday at 4. I said, I know. She goes, why do you have it down for Thursday at 11? I go, because that tells me it's Friday at 4. How? And she's like, she's just like look, man, it works for me. I don't and my know calendar how. is at 11 on Thursday. Like I but think, I know that it's Friday at 4. Oh my the God. mental <laughs> gymnastics you have to do, instead of just putting stuff, write down what you have to do, and then maybe for you, the time it, that you have to be somewhere, just put it in there. It's that like my alarm no clock. Sense. It makes no sense. I know. My alarm clock, by the way, like when I get up in the morning, my alarm clock is set for about 20 minutes ahead. So when I wake up and I start doing stuff and I check the time later, I'm way ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense to me. It does? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So Making an appointment of... on a Tuesday at 3 o'clock because it's actually on a Friday at 4 o'clock makes Thursday. no sense. Thursday at 11 <laughs> means Friday at 4. You know, Either way, that makes no and John sense. John Jay, just like Stacy, when they explain it, they almost feel like they have to talk down to us because we don't understand a system that makes sense. <laughs> like when she tells me about it, she's like, I don't know that you'll understand, but let me try to explain it to you because you don't understand the code. I'm like, I don't understand the code. <laughs> <laughs> I also, if I know, if let's say I have an appointment on Monday, let's say it's at noon, I just block off the whole day. <laughs> I'm just like the whole day. And you'll show me 9.15 in the morning. Just to that be ready. just specifically a Monday thing? No, just if I know, if it's or if I get it ahead of time, I'll just block out the whole day. Yeah, see, yeah. I can't tell what you. What do you have on Tuesday? Got a meeting at 11. <laughs> can, can you meet at 4? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Did you guys follow uh, Justin Bieber on Instagram? Did you see his post last night? No. I do follow him, but I didn't see it. Two posts last night from uh, where I was on vacation. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's there now? He's there now, yeah. You just missed oh, him. Oh, man. I know. Well, he was in India, but now it's cool to see him there now. He posted a lot of pictures. Like, I was standing. One of the pictures is from the spa at the place that I go to, like, where there was just a sauna and a cold plunge. Could you imagine running into Justin Bieber? Like, I mean, I know you guys have met him, so it's not as cool. But, like, for me, that's so cool. 
Oh, I love I that for you. It's very cool. It would be cool. <laughs> Either yeah. way. Yeah. Um, then I get this DM this morning, but unrelated to this, but I'll just sell my DMs. I always try to answer as many DMs. And it says, good morning, John Jay. My name is Bobby. I'm the owner of Sunset Mushrooms. We're located down in Sierra Vista, Arizona. I listen to your show quite frequently, and I know you're in with all the fitness health stuff. I wanted to reach out and ask if you ever used mushroom tinctures, in particular, cordyceps and lion's mane. These products are incredible with their medicinal properties. Would you be willing to try some of these products from us and see if you feel anything different? And I was like, never heard of them. You guys ever heard of them? I mean, I've heard of the use of mushrooms, but not those specific Lion's ones. Lion's mane, I've heard of. Like, there's there's some tea that they make with it that a lot of people, when they're trying to give up coffee, will use the mushroom drink. And I've tried it, and it's actually okay. Is that what he's talking about? I don't know. I don't know what the tinctures are. Aren't tinctures eye drops now? Well, tinctures, I think, is just like, like drops. Oil. Oh, like, just it's just like an oil type of thing. Oh. I think you can have a tincture of anything. Like, but you I'm, use the CBD tincture from right. my friend's mm-hmm. company. Right. But, so, I thought... I, Learning without ever asking, is a tincture just another name for the eye drop? Yeah, the I think so. Of the, yeah. The oil, so he's yeah. saying you take mushroom eye droppers, and, I mean, under your tongue and whatever? Probably. But what does it do? Does well, it probably microdose. That's what I was... for pain? Yeah, is like it... what medicinal purposes for what? To treat headaches? To treat anxiety? To treat... Right. Yeah, that's what I shot him that DM. But I mean, you are... I'm all in already. I, I was going to say, you are <laughs> judging. Exactly. You will yeah. take it in everything. I, I know this, so mo- this new thing I got into, because when I was, again, where Bieber was is right now... In the bathroom, they had these uh, bare back and body pills. Like if your back hurts, mm-hmm. so my back kind of hurts. So I started taking them, and I became obsessed with them. So now I take two every morning, even if my back doesn't hurt. And I don't That's know. That's not healthy. <laughs> Why are you doing? That? You're like xing out all the healthy stuff you do with stuff like that. But <laughs> I feel, I feel, it's so nice that I have back pain. So I'm just like, when I sit in these chairs every time I get up, my back hurts. Not anymore. Huh. But, <laughs> I wonder if you should look into it whether you should do those every day. Because a lot of people do them for heart health, but I don't know that you're supposed to do that. They anymore. do what for heart health? Take the, a little aspirin thing. Oh, no, or? I do that too at night. A little aspirin. But this is. Could for, you put together a list of all the things that keep you alive? <laughs> I think it would take too long. <laughs> we, need a, we totally need a list of the things you do to keep yourself alive. Uh, well, like that's, I guess. People would marvel the at The back pill thing do. might be unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. But I had slept wrong and I got up my back hurt, so I took two of these things and they're in the bathroom for free. I know, but you don't need to take them every free. day now. <laughs> you're, not, you're not in Coeur d'Alene, uh, Idaho currently. <laughs> <laughs> my mind is, John J. Rich, you know what else I forgot to tell you guys about this weekend? What? So I'm in Los Angeles. I'm in Anaheim with my wife and my son Dutch for this basketball team because they had a tournament. And I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm also trying not to eat past seven. Well, as I talked to Peyton about yesterday, in that basketball world, sometimes you eat dinner at 10 o'clock at night. And it was like eight o'clock and we went to um, Lucille's Barbecue, which they have Mm. right here. And I'm sitting at Lucille's and I don't want to be tempted by the barbecue, you know, and the macaroni and cheese and the cornbread. So I got to get out of this restaurant. And as we're pulling up to the place, there's this, the most amazing, beautiful church I've ever seen. And I'm like, oh my God, it just hit me what it was. Because I remember my dad was a tour guide. I remember him talking about this church. Then I remember seeing it on Sunday. I don't know if they still do this because I sleep in on Sundays. Where the preacher's on TV asking for money and doing all that stuff. That still happens, right? Of course. Yeah. So you guys ever heard of Crystal Cathedral? Mm-hmm. Well, you have? Yeah. Why we. You- um, I was in choir in high school and we sang there. It and it amazing? was like this big deal. Yeah. It was really cool. So I'm sitting there eating. Everyone's get, ordering their food. I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm going to go to this cathedral and check it out. So it's already dark and I walk over there. And I don't know what's happened if they changed ownership, but it was like Vietnamese night or something. When I t- there had to be 10, 15, not a kidding, thousand Vietnamese people at this event. And they had, ch- I put some of it on my stories or whatever. I've never seen anything like it before. First of all, I was the tallest man in that whole area. Okay. And, that, and I'm walking through the church. And they're letting me walk around. And I bought a shirt. I bought a shirt. The size was 5X. This shirt I'm wearing right now is a 2X. 5X. I put it on. It was a half shirt. Because it's made for Vietnamese men. Like, it didn't fit. It doesn't, it couldn't put it, I couldn't fit it. <laughs> put it on. But I walked around. It was the most beautiful. The music was playing. It was, nothing was in English. Nothing. Like, they didn't care. Like, it wasn't even, like, half English, you know, half Vietnamese. It was all Vietnamese. Thousands and thousands of people. Then I walked through the... And the church is just beautiful. The music's playing. And I'm taking pictures and video. And then... I, there was a whole food tr- area of just tons of food trucks and booths. Now of you're talking. Food. I know, but I also <laughs> was like trying to avoid eating, right? So anyway, it was kind of really neat. And I don't know what's going on at that cathedral anymore. If they change, And it's also not called Crystal Cathedral anymore. It's not? It's called Christ Cathedral. Oh. And I remember the dude that used to run it. I know you've all seen him on TV. He was a silver-haired guy. 
I don't remember his name, though. Uh, I got his face, though. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, uh, it was beautiful. Rick Warren, are you? Is that the guy? No, I feel, no, I feel, I want to like see. famous, like. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I want to say, and I don't think that, I want to say Schuler, like Robert Schuler, but I don't even know if that's a real person. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, that that reason, doesn't that that <laughs> My dad used to talk about this place all the time. <laughs> anyway, we get a little entertainment news, a little entertainment news. Like, well, what's the biggest story right now going on? Travis Kelsey's mom prob? I guess, maybe. I mean, the Taylor Swift effect is real, very strong. Like she's acting now, the mom? So, <laughs> yeah, she actually got, she got hired for a Hallmark movie that they're making called uh, holiday touchdown, a chief love story, and I guess wow. Travis Kelsey's supposedly in it. His mom's in it, and yeah, so they well, both get that as acting credits. And the good news is, is those Hallmark Christmas shows are always so cheesy that if this just this pitch sounds like it fits perfectly, perfectly, yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty genius. So I, it's good for Mama Kelsey. I like her. What happened with Lady Kravitz? Okay, he literally stopped down his show. Because a very important person was calling him. I'm sorry. My, my big brother just called me up on the phone to say hi. Y'all know Denzel Washington? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got you to gotta stop I mean, the show. If Denzel called. Washington calls you, you answer <laughs> whatever you're doing. <laughs> like, why did he even have his phone, though? Like, how did he know he was calling? <laughs> so is Lenny Kravitz's real last name Washington or is Denzel's real last name Kravitz? <laughs> he said big brother. I think it's mm. a figure of speech. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of artists, what about Sabrina Carpenter? So she has now endorsed the Olympics. I don't know if you guys saw, you get to see her in a new commercial for it. What am I doing in Paris? Isn't it obvious? The Olympics. The amazing opening ceremony on the Seine, Simone's epic comeback, the USA Australia rivalry in the pool, and the world's fastest man and woman, Noah and Shakari, racing for Team USA. I've never been more excited for anything in my life. So in it, she's like chatting with this bird, and the bird's drinking too much espresso. Uh, I get it. it was, hear espresso in the background. I literally just watched it too, and like at the end of the commercial, it's like two of the servers, and they're speaking French, and they're like, "She had way too much espresso because she looks crazy <laughs> in the video." Yeah, because she's talking to the yeah, bird, to and the then bird. at the end, she's like, "You're too funny." Yeah, and she's like hysterically <laughs> laughing. Yeah. yeah, I'm curious to see how big the Olympics are because you know every year we hear how big it is and how that she consumes everything, but. The number one show on Netflix right now is Receivers. And they dropped a show a week or two ago called Sprint, which was really good it with, with Shikari and with Noah Lyles. And I was watching it and I thought it was great. But Receivers also is really, really good too. Mm -hmm. Right? And that has, I thought it'd have Travis Kelsey in it, but it's not. He said no. I was to surprised. It. I mean, he's in it a little bit. Just like, when they play the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's not like him. It's like he didn't know he's on camera. Right. You know what I mean? So isn't that weird? Like it's like not even the top ten the sprint thing. Yeah, maybe it'll get bigger when the Olympics starts. Like maybe maybe no, I mean, people there's are big waiting. Stories like yeah. Simone Biles' story is huge too. Yeah. Right. So you know people get into it. Um, and Peyton, you were talking about something you heard a rumor about Miley Cyrus. Yeah, that she is rumored to be headlining the Super Bowl for 2025, which I'm here for and I'm excited for. It. And I feel like the special guest that she would have to bring out has to be Hannah Montana, right? Yeah. Like she has to play best <laughs> oh, of best. Oh, look at you go. Like, so funny. Yeah. She'd be great. She's such an entertainer. So good. I don't think they'd go with Miley Cyrus. Why not? Because remember when she did the MVMAs and she did something really controversial and nude or something like that? Yeah, but I feel like she's in a different phase right yeah, now. Yeah, but they'd, you never she know. She was in her, her Bangers album phase where she was trying to shake that Disney reputation. I think that she's got a good head on her shoulders and some hits. I think she'd be a great halftime I performer. think they're going to go Taylor Swift. They're going to try to get her back. Eh. Why do you well, say that? I like Taylor Swift, but I don't want Taylor Swift as a ha halftime show. I need Taylor Swift in like five, six years. Too much Taylor right now. <laughs> Give me my Do you think she would even do it? Taylor? She'd probably I lose do. so much money even doing the Super Bowl. Well, is it in the middle of her tour still? Or is it be over by then? Uh, I don't know when the tour is over. I feel like the tour is never uh, ending. I know. It's, it's, you got to have mad respect I for know, her doing this that, tour like this. I know. It'll work, dude. Uh, what's going on with her, too? Well, we always love little... Taylor Swift, because she always has a million things going on. She broke right. her own record um, with her 12th week at number one for Torture Post Department, and she just beat herself. Like, <laughs> and then, like, everyone was freaking out because she showed Travis Kelsey a little bit of love on social media. There was, like, ESPN posted something about him being, like, the number one tight end in the league, and she liked it. <laughs> and I'm like, is this a big deal? But then again, it's like, at first I'm like, oh my gosh, she just liked the post. But then it's like, she liked any one of our posts. Mm. It would be a big deal. Yeah. Hey, she liked one of my Twitter posts one time. <laughs> That's amazing. I know. I have it's it saved deal. and screenshotted. Yeah. Yeah. It was totally cool.
Um, okay, so we talked a lot about Army Hammer, the actor, because he was like a cannibal or something, right? Well, he was accused of being a cannibal. He was accused of sexual misconduct, and he got canceled big time. And he, I guess, wants to get back into Hollywood, and he's confused as to why after two years he still is canceled because he said, I mean, like, he was found basically innocent by two different like sets of authorities. Like there was one overseas and then here in the United States. There was an investigation by the LAPD. They went through phones, emails, eyewitness report. Like they, they investigated me for two and a half years in a time where if they could have nailed right. someone like me, right. it would have been such a boon yes. for the LAPD. And after two and a half years, they came to the conclusion right. that there is no evidence any crime had been committed. Do you guys catch that? If they could have nailed someone like me. So he's almost admitting, like, yeah, he did that, but there was no crime committed. <laughs> I thought he was saying someone like me being a celebrity in the public eye. That, that, that oh, oh, not a cannibal? That. I didn't take it that way. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess that's maybe what it could have meant. But either way, I'm like, eh, it's okay. There's just too many new celebs. It is like yeah. Hollywood doesn't necessarily need Ar- Army Hammer anymore, I don't mm-hmm. think. Um, James Corden, an, an, an old celeb. What's I up thought you would like this I clip. I don't like him at all. <laughs> but I, the, because of that, I thought mm-hmm. you would enjoy this clip because he says, you know, he doesn't host a Late Late Show anymore. But he says, looking back, he realized something about getting that job in the first place. I think when I think about when, back when I started in amongst an entire out-of-body experience of feeling just unbelievably out of my depth and deeply unqualified to do such a thing... But he did it. And he, I mean, like, honestly, like, that show got very successful very quickly. People really liked it. Because he ripped us off. <laughs> the <laughs> thing that got him famous was our bit. I know, but it's almost like, in a way, He's if a you weasel, do Kyle. silver lining to that, right. he took the bit, he made it better. And he He didn't blew make it, it better. He just got bigger guests. Cause we, we That's what I'm saying. He made it better get, with bigger guests. guests. <laughs> and, then, and then he had the balls to DM me. And started know, arguing. You guys got in a fight. Uh, you're gonna play a game, Jennifer Peoria. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. You're playing this game for four tickets to Legoland. Are you ready, All Jennifer? All right. I am ready. All right, Nick's the host. Nick, how are we gonna play? Guys, we're playing a game called Noise Machine today. I like to theme my games, and you know, you turn on the television, what do you see? Noise. Commercials. I was looking for Machines. A, I was looking for Olympics. Oh. Uh, I see Republican National <laughs> Convention. I haven't turned on the TV. Politics, <laughs> politics, politics, politics. Not a great theme with that. Sorry, uh, Nick. We didn't have your back on that one. Guys, we're also giving away Legoland tickets. So the theme today is Lego Olympics. Love oh, that. Oh, great. Loving that. And you have to guess what the noise is. It's it's going to be uh, uh, tea. I mean, here's a spoiler. Tea. Tea. Here's a spoiler. It's either going to be something with Legos or something with the Olympics. All okay. right. Okay. We're going to start with John Jay. What is this noise? That sounds like Legos falling. Legos falling. Correct. Yeah. Wow. One point for John Jay coming out the gate strong. Richard, now this one, uh, you have to guess the athlete that they're talking about. They have lined up in the aisles to see if <laughs> can do something that has never been done. Oh, okay, so something that's never been do- done. So maybe it's either Michael Phelps or Simone Biles. I'm going Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps, ASU's very own. Is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. That's so funny. I thought you're, the answer was either Legos or Same. Olympics. I was like, Olympics, I was like, obviously. Okay, it sounds like Olympics, but it's got to be Legos because he's just an athlete. Guys, guys, this is a very complicated game today. I, okay, so John Jay on the board. Rich on the board. Peyton. I'm out of sight. That is the Lego song the from Le- the Lego movie because there was a Lego movie recently. Th- there was a Lego movie. Give me my point. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can't give you a point because the name of that song is, of course, everybody in the room. Olympics. Lego, <laughs> Lego House. Oh, it's a, you know oh. that Ed Sheeran. <laughs> oh yeah, that's an Ed Sheeran oh, song. Oh, you're right. Oh, goodness, goodness. Lego House. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I don't agree. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so no points for Peyton in round one. We're going to move to Kyle. Lego. <laughs> I mean, I guess I have to say Lego, uh-huh. but I feel like, is that Megan the Stallion? <gasps> no, it's not Megan the Stallion. That is a gentleman in that clip. Lego. Oh. 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 Lego. 
three. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know the song. Yes. Yeah. Two. Chris Brown. Yes. Yes. Chris Brown. <laughs> yeah, That's Chris Lega. Brown? Yeah, let's Lego. Go. Miss it. Look at me now. <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> so, Such a song. Sorry, sorry, that took a long time, but I got it. I got it. I was John there. Jay, Rich, <laughs> Kyle all on the board. And uh, Jennifer, you get how this game works? Yep. Good, because it's your turn. That's the Olympics opening. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Jennifer. Nick really wants you to win this game. <laughs> Guys, well, hey, for a bonus point, do you know who is the uh, the conductor of that song? I do. I do. Yeah? Okay. Okay. John uh, says I do. John Williams. John Williams. Composer. Star, Star Wars theme. Jurassic oh, really? Park, Indiana yeah. Jones, E.T. Mm-hmm. He's real famous. Fun fact. All right. After one round, everybody on the board except for Peyton, Giant Goose Egg, John Jay, you're in round two. God. I mean, it sounds like tennis in the Olympics. Okay, it is. It is Olympics. Can okay. you guess the athlete that he's reacting to? Oh, can I hear it again? Oh my God! Okay, so it's a famous tennis athlete, Serena Williams. I'm sorry, wrong, wrong sport. Wrong Not sport. Tennis. Okay, is this somebody Anybody? sticking a landing? Anybody? Anybody? Rich. Rich. Simone Biles sticking Simone a landing. Simone Biles. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Simone Biles. Okay, She's good. good job. Rich stole that Great. point there. Uh, and uh, now it's Rich's turn. Whoa. Oh, um, that is the Olympics, and uh-huh. it's the beginning of a track and field event. I'm sorry, Rich. That's incorrect. Nobody Simone either? Biles again. No. <laughs> no. We Wait. are looking for it. It's the beginning of swimming. Oh. Uh, it's, it's a tone. To jump no. in the pool. Oh, oh yeah, I should have gotten them. All right, Peyton. This is my favorite clue. It is the longest one, so I think you should get it. It's going to be Kubon Chan of Korea against Jean Charles Valentin of France. What sport are they competing for? Shuffleboard. Shuffleboard <laughs> is the guess. <laughs> yep. Sorry, that's incorrect. Rich. I mean, of course, Rich knows. Yeah, it's ping pong. Okay, Rich is also wrong. I'm sorry, no. Rich. Uh, we of course we're looking for basketball. Basketball. No, I'm sorry, Jennifer. <laughs> I was like, wait, that was basketball. <laughs> we were we were of course looking for archery. Oh, oh. archery. Oh. 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 The Koreans that's fine archers. <laughs> yeah. So I'm so sorry, Peyton. No points today. What I a, want to host a game that you play so I can drag sh- you. What a shame. <laughs> Uh, uh, Kyle. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Victim of archery. <laughs> Innocent bystander. Um, is that in the Lego movie, somebody dying? No, it is Lego, though. Do you want to hear it again? Yeah. Oh, uh. oh, stepping on a Lego. Stepping on a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. <laughs> So this game is great. Uh, everybody's having a good time. Um, Jennifer, if you can guess this, maybe you'll go to Legoland. Everything is awesome. Oh, that's the Lego song. The Lego theme yeah. song. Yeah. yeah. The theme song from the Lego movie. Uh, Jennifer, you got the Yay. tickets. You're going to Legoland. Hey. Jennifer. Hey. All right, hold on line. Anybody here ever been to Legoland? Yeah. yeah. I have yeah. not. I have mm-hmm. not. My wife went with my kids. I was like, no, you go. But <laughs> <laughs> so you won't let her go to Disneyland. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Legoland is not. <laughs>